Hi you guys out there in YouTube land, Chibi here, and I'm here with a life update, slash a um, Monster High update the, of the Monster High Alive line. I know I won't be posting many videos of Monster High on here, so just saying. Um, I just wanted to say something about these since I was doing my upda life update anyway, so. I have officially graduated! Ha 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 ha! Um, yeah, I've been going to college for five and a half years. It's nice to be graduated. Uh, but, yay. Uh, I took my final test today and all that and blah blah blah. So. <laughs> anyway, so I wanted to show randomly because you can't really picture these dolls well and see how well they show up on video. Uh, the Monster High Alive line. So they show up on camera a little bit better than they do on pictures. But uh, this is the Monster High Alive, um, Goals Alive, Frankie and... It's actually really detailed. I wonder if I can pick up the neck. The neck is so cool when she goes off. Let's see. Well, you can't see the detail, but when you're looking at her, she actually, you can see her stitches through the lighting and all that and her bolts. I think she's really cool. And she looks a lot better in person than in pictures. She actually looks pretty well on this camera. Um, all of these dolls have really awkwardly looking foreheads, in my opinion. Uh, also, kind of a note to anyone who finds them, be sure to look in the box heavily before buying them. The first Spectra I picked up, because the particular Toys R Us I went to had a ton of stock of these, which is amazing because I don't, gen I'm not generally in town where my colleges take tests. Um, actually, haven't been there for a few months, so I decided to hit the Toys R Us while I was there. They had a huge stock of them, but like uh, one of the uh, Spectras I picked up, actually, her whole legs from here down were just broken off. So yeah, so here's Spectra. Spectra's actually oh crap. Sorry, my TV unpaused. Um, Spectra's actually one of my least favorite sculpts when it comes to detail. She looks really weird sometimes if you don't have her hair done just right, like her face size. But um, in this plastic, it looks a little bit interesting. But yeah, there she is. She looks better with her hair like that. So there's Spectra. And of course she can't move her knees but side swiveled side to side and her arms can only swivel side to side. And I wouldn't even do that very much if I were you because Yeah. If I can find the button. Nope. That's why you can't move her arms and legs very much, because they light up. And if you do you'd probably mess up the little lighting. But yep. There she is. And then we have Dave Spectra. Claudine, who is probably the most poseable out of all of them. The other two, like um Frankie's legs you can move and you can move on her hip joints too, but they're very, very stiff. And um I don't think you can move her let's see. Can't do it with one hand. Okay, her arms do move completely. Her arms do move even though they have the mechanism, but if you move them out of the place for her mechanism, you have to put them back or when you make her do her howl, it doesn't look right. <laughs> or in my case, I made her slap herself in the face, which was funny. So I didn't have her mechanism in the right place. But And it just... Yeah. This part, like the moving of the head and the arms and stuff, is just physical. And uh, the howl will just go on as long as you just one howl every time you press it down. So, But she's pretty poseable. Her outfit is um, probably the second closest to her original. A lot of people have been saying her boots are exactly the same. And they are, but they're made of a much more thin plastic than the original. Thank you. <laughs> than the original. So as you can see here. They're very, very thin plastic. And 
Of course, this makes them getting on and off are pretty easy. Uh, the other ones are rather difficult. I have Wave 1 Claudine. And the hard plastic, even with my original, all my hard one originals are, she's made of really, really hard plastic, so it's kind of difficult to get them on and off. They all have this cool stand, though. Um, put it around my face. Which I actually love this stand system way more than their normal stand system because they just sit on it kind of like my BJDs do. Because all of my BJD stands are the crotch holders. <laughs> and though they're not adjust, of course these stands aren't adjustable, it is kind of easier. And um, the stands are more stable. The bottom piece of all three of mine clicks in. Uh, most people who collect Monster High dolls know that those stands are iffy. <laughs> the normal stands are iffy. You hope it's going to click into the bottom. I'd say 50% of mine do not. And uh, all three of these, which I was very, very concerned with, all clicked in the bottom, which was awesome. And they're all pretty stable. I mean, for stands. Uh, the least stable is Spectra because her foot doesn't even come close to the bottom of her stand. So there's nothing really holding her up but her stand. But it's actually still really cool. And she does pretty well staying in it. So, yep, those are my ghouls alive. Don't expect a lot of Monster High videos. I just decided to say something about them because I've heard a lot of people hating on the ghouls alive line, and in pictures they look terrible. Uh, for some odd reason, in my personal opinion, they look amazing in person. Um, I think a lot of it has to do with the hard plastic of their heads because none of their heads are the original squishy. They're all hard because they have um, mechanisms and battery packs and lights and all sorts of stuff up in their heads, depending on which one they hit, which one. So um, I think some of that kind of comes off awkwardly in pictures, like the shine of it, especially Claudine. She's like her head's creepishly shiny. But other than that, I actually really, really love this line. I think Frankie's my favorite, and I generally don't like the Frankie dolls as much as some of the other ones. Um, but she's my favorite Frankie doll so much so far. Her outfit's actually really, really cute. I love the whole white piece. So. But, I don't know. I think it looks way more schoolgirl. I think it's so cute. So, so. But, yep. That's pretty much my whole shine on this. The shoes of all of them seem a lot thinner than their original shoe miss, which is awkward. I didn't know. I mean, it hasn't happened on any of the lines that I've noticed. But uh, thanks for watching, and uh, after this, we'll be back to our regularly scheduled BJD videos. Bye.